the moment you've all been waiting for. Black out everything. Like this fidget toy that also makes music. Comment down below for Whiteout or Mobile Gaming EDC for the next episode. But for now, let's check it out. My latest addiction is this blade from Urban EDC Supply from the excellent knife designer Justin Lundquist. This is the Baby Barlow, and as the name suggests, it really is just a baby. But like how babies wreak havoc on your life, this tiny tool can do some damage as well, easily cutting through any box you throw at it or just for your everyday origami needs. This handles it like hot steel cutting through butter. I've got the black G10 model, but every detail about this beauty spells premium. From the titanium hardware, deep carry pocket clip, and the best part, this rounded thumb grip, making it one of the funnest front flippers to play with at a size that won't scare everyone around you when you pop it out. It's the perfect workhorse that doesn't weigh you down. Slicing through any job I put it up against, I guarantee it will have no problems cutting open your next Amazon Prime delivery. They've also got other variants like this Wicked Micarta scale that also patinas with usage, but come on, how clean, simple, yet sophisticated do these look? Non-threatening in any way to take with you in a social or business setting, and just knowing that it securely stays shut when you need it to, but when called to action, well bam, the Warncliffe style M390 Super Steel Blade can be put to work instantly whenever you need it, then tucked and hidden away thanks to the deep carry pocket clip. All that at the size of about a key or small Bic lighter. You can finally say you've got three inches worth showing off. The best part, I dig this so much, we're already working on a custom completely blacked out drop soon, so if you're interested in that collab, keep an eye out for that soon, but for now, links in the description down below. This has become my grail blackout watch. All thanks to eBay for sponsoring this episode and show off their authenticity guaranteed service when shopping for it. This is the Seiko Prospects Tuna Watch, a very intense diver watch rated to handle telling the time at a thousand meters underwater, which means it can probably handle my bathtub without any issues. It's a chunky boy and kind of what it's known for as well. And plus why I love it so much with its titanium build and this ceramic shroud that basically acts like armor to keep it protected from all the octopi and goldfish you'll encounter when diving that deep in the ocean. It looks and feels like you're wearing a tank on your wrists, but you can basically count on it to always tell you the exact date and time when you need it. Overkill? Yeah. But one of my favorite all-time blackout watches now? Heck yeah. It's a simple design that doesn't use any lugs, has a quartz 7C46N movement on about a 47mm face, and unlike your fancy smartwatches now, it literally only tells the date and time like the good old days. Plus, even with how big it is, it's still comfortable to wear all day long thanks to the accordion style strap that surprisingly helps with the airflow and my intense sweating problem. But in the end, come on, just look at how clean this is. And it doesn't even end there. Wabam! Probably the brightest lumen face I've ever seen when charged up. So yeah, a no-brainer blackout combo, even in the dark. Now this beauty isn't readily available at your average watch store, at least that I could find. So when I need to drop some heavy moolah online, I like to know it's for the real deal. Thankfully, with eBay's authenticity guaranteed service, they've got one of the largest selections of luxury, vintage, and the best retro watches all in one place. On top of that, you're basically getting professional authenticators to verify the movement, crown, bezel, straps, and serial numbers, all without costing you a single penny for the additional peace of mind. All you have to do is search by the authenticity guaranteed filter, verify it's got the blue badge, and you'll even get an authenticity card providing details for your personal watch that you ordered as well. So whether you're a collector, buying a gift for that person who has it all, or just want to splurge on yourself, you can shop confidently with eBay's authenticity guaranteed service, link in the description down below. Out of all the key organizers I've tested, this is hands down the coolest looking one. Built into a full metal carabiner, the Dango Shackle isn't elegant, super quiet, or minimal, but it's the toughest, transformer looking, and funnest to play with I've ever used. The shackle on the bottom still keeps your keys organized in one place and easily accessible with a simple twist so you can see and find what you need instantly. It's still fairly silent too for being a chunk of stainless steel metal, but that's what makes the second part of it so cool. The aerospace aluminum carabiner it's attached to is worth it alone. Not only is it indestructible as well, it utilizes dual steel spring clips, which helps when carrying other accessories 
accessories to keep them separated and know it's secured in without anything flying around the rest of the larger cutout. The whole system is also modular, offering the ability to go minimal and stay organized with only the shackle and keys. Plus, installation simply requires you to slide it in when it gives you consent, twist to lock in place, and screw them together for a secure fit through any tug test. I wouldn't blame you if you just bought it for the carabiner either. With all the additional mounting points, you can get pretty creative or just keep it simple. Now, always stored in my front left pocket, the iPhone 13 Pro, but more importantly, with the Bellwaring Mod phone case wrapped around it. And if you're a fan of MagSafe, then this is hands down the best MagSafe system to get that all starts with the case. Made of a soft leather wrapped around a protective shell that still manages to stay fairly slim. However, it's the simple notches along the backside that you barely notice is there that not only allows for regular MagSafe accessories to still work, but when combined with Bellroy's dedicated mod accessories, it handles my slap tests without budging at all and still be usable as a regular wallet carrying up to three cards in this sleek and fidgety magnetic door closure. When you do want to slim down, simply lift and voila. It doesn't even end there. They've also got the mod battery cover for the Apple MagSafe battery. Yeah, it's a case for your battery. However, it does make it so much better to use, not only for its blackout vibes, but when attached, it actually feels like it's locked in place even while using your phone. I never have to worry about it sliding off on its own ever again. As for the case, it's a fairly clean looking blackout case with clicky buttons still, a leather back with a rubber case shell that keeps your iPhone's front and back covered. So if you love the simplicity of MagSafe and blackout everything, this is a no brainer. Since we're on a roll for all things indestructible, this is the Dango D03 Light Dapper Rail Wallet. It's one of the simplest wallets you can use. Made of a single piece of metal with no moving parts and a rubber band wrapped around it. Surprisingly, they still managed to include a hidden compartment on the inside, perfect for your secret lover's house or your life savings. In use though, it's even simpler. Dual card slots, each holding up to five cards, and then these tiny railings that click and lock them in place. Don't worry though, it actually works through my scientific shake test. Combined with the optional rubber band for a little extra storage, either for cash or your daily essentials, plus the compartment on the inside that's hidden with the card cards acting as a slide up door. Basically, for how simple and open this wallet is, you'd be surprised at how much it can hold. You've also got options to tie on your favorite lanyard for easy retrieval as well, and even strip down further by removing the band for quicker access to every card stored on either side. Your wallet probably doesn't need to be tougher than you are, but there's no denying how cool you'll feel when you pull this out to pay for your mocha frappuccino. The sling bag of choice for this blackout collection goes to the Wandered Rome 3 liter sling. And while 3 liters is a pretty tiny size, there's nothing tiny about this bag. But the Roam is the most protective sling bag I've tested at this size. Plus, they didn't stop at that either. With a focus on detail in every other aspect as well, a large padded molly shoulder strap that's overkill and I love it, rotating buckles to ensure it sits properly at any angle, and a gigantic top handle if you want to go purse mode. Additional accessory straps along the bottom for a bottle, umbrella, or small tripod, and overall the toughest nylon and waterproof zippers all around. It already sits comfortably on my back, but with the additional stabilizer strap, this ultimate tiny blackout bag ain't going anywhere. A huge shout out to Aiden Camera in Toronto for always keeping us up to date with the newest camera gear, so link to them down below if you're ever in the Toronto area. But taking a look inside though, with the top half splitting open to see all your gear, it's got padding all around with a removable divider and this long top pocket storing the Studio Neat Mark II pen. A stubby custom metal pen when stored away, but pulled apart and wha-bam. A full-size pen utilizing a mini Schmidt pen refill, but can also take the commonly used Fisher Space pressurized ones too. Either way, giving you a comfortable experience to doodle your classic masterpieces. And as clean and fancy as this pen looks, it's one you can confidently toss around thanks to its stainless steel construction. However, my favorite part is surprisingly how fidgety it is without having to annoy everyone else around you thanks to this magnetic closing mechanism. Super satisfying, but also securely holds it closed in place. Plus, when stored away, it's about as long as my finger and that matte black Cerakote is also just very nice to feel up. Now this definitely isn't for everyone. You have to appreciate proper craftsmanship and just all things tiny because the Stropa battery and SD card case is literally just that. A tiny leather case that stores your battery and SD card. So it's mainly targeted towards creatives. Now although you're paying for this tiny slab of leather, it's how they utilize all that material to make it one of the cutest pouches I own now. Basically, 
there's a thin sleeve on the front side dedicated to SD cards with a larger section behind that fitting my Fuji battery perfectly. And there's just something about a pouch that's cut specifically for one thing that makes it so enticing. So if you're carrying around these extras anyways, it does keep it all in one place and adds a little protection instead of it being tossed around in your bag or pockets. The best part though, when not storing a battery, it actually perfectly fits a box of nerds with a slot for a coin as well. Whether you should buy it just for that, is totally up to you. Carrying a handkerchief doesn't take up any space. It can look as wicked as this one, and when it does come in handy, oh boy, are you glad you had one. These ones are from Awesome Hank and have become my all-time favorite, not only for their super relatable designs, but the opposite side has this soft microfiber cloth, perfect to wipe down your screens from your grimy fingerprints. Unlike some cheap piece of cloth, these are all finished off with a clean edge and sturdy stitch job. The best part is the range of designs they offer though. Unlike your typical crosshatch or flowery designs, and while I personally wouldn't use it as a tissue, it is possible, but it is hand washable only. Finally, the cherry on top, it's about the size of an iPhone, maybe about three credit cards stacked. Unlike your typical handkerchief that you can wear like a t-shirt, these are actually perfect to double as a pouch for my fidget toys so that I can take it in and out of my pockets, keeping them from scratching any screens or just banging up against any other gear in there as well as the material of the hank itself is fairly thick and can hold its own lastly for the open mouth eaters it's great as a backup tablecloth too for the falling crumbs tasty now this isn't a Zippo lighter, although it does fit inside of one. The tab dock is actually a tiny pill case in the shape of a Zippo. Otherwise, it pretty much looks like a regular Zippo, except instead of starting a fire, it holds tiny pills, mints, or tiny nerds too. With the cutout on the top corner of the case, you can easily pour out the contents inside, and there's something satisfying about popping something out of a Zippo that isn't fire. The whole thing is made of stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about rusting, but the best part, it'll fit into your favorite Zippo case, like my ape ball one here or switch it up on another day with a custom laser etched Game Boy design for the nostalgia vibes. But basically, if you always thought that flicking open and close the Zippo was damn fun, well, this gives you a reason to bring it around with you without scaring everyone else around you. Next up, stored in the larger compartment, this is probably my favorite pouch at the moment, the Alpaca Hub Pouch. Just this fairly small pouch that fits within the palm of my hands. I've got the X-Pack version with this wicked cross design and waterproof madness when combined with the semi-sealed zippers and other than the single sleeve pocket on the outside where I store a tracker in, the inside organization is the bread and butter of the pouch. Fully unzipped, it allows for a complete view of what you're working with. It offers elastic loops to keep things from flopping around, smaller sleeve pockets to slide gear into, with larger ones along the backside fitting most things in the shape of a credit card. This compact design is built to last with quality in mind, meant to handle storing multiple tools and heavy gear. The seams are properly stitched to maintain constantly adding and removing gear from the pockets. However, it can also be utilized for other soft good daily essentials too. Or a urban emergency med kit, a tech and EDC pouch combo, or my favorite, a commuter essential kit. With a bonus feature being if you add a MagSafe charger into the back pocket, zip it up, and well bam Not only does the whole thing magnetically attach to your phone, albeit not the strongest, the pouch now doubles as a portable wireless charger on the go. Now this is part of the Alpaca Hub family, so you can attach their hub mounts too, allowing you to carry it using their magnetic mounts to save even more pocket space and avoid the need to carry a whole sling bag. This allows everything to be a zip away and the magnetic clips stay secured in place through my scientific shake test. But if you wanna keep it simple, I find it also fits perfectly in my back pocket too, so my daily Daily carry goes up front with the just in case around back. For all the musically impaired like myself, this can literally make you the next famous DJ Khaled. The Artiphone Orbit 2 can only be described as if a fidget toy made love to a piano. So if you thought fidget toys were annoying before, wait until you hear this baby. It's built surprisingly sturdy with speaker grills around the bottom as well as rubber feet to keep it lifted so it doesn't vibrate the whole table. It's small enough to fit in the palm of your hand, but also means you can fidget one handed as well but honestly it's best when played with both if you want to actually make something bearable to listen to it's got several preset instruments built in that you can swap between with the center button but it's way more advanced than that as you can record sounds around you to use as a beat as well now all that is way beyond my abilities to make anything worth listening to but what i can tell you is this is really damn fun to fidget with plus when you're done jamming out don't let it go to waste as you can record and potentially become the next soundcloud artist of the month now there aren't any moving parts or or buttons to fall off thanks to it being completely gesture controlled you can tilt tap press shake spin 
Seriously, you can spend hours just trying to test out the different sounds you can make out of this one device. And for something so advanced, it's probably the toughest piece of tech I've ever thrown around. The best part is if you really just need a chill session, plug in your favorite air cans and host a jam session for yourself without having to ruin everyone else's day around you. And while it's not the tiniest fidget toy or tech out there, it can fit in your front pocket. Although I don't recommend walking up to your crush with it hidden inside. If you're looking for more Blackout EDC, watch this next. But that's it. I rest my music fidget player.